Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> um, if I do have this one by tomorrow, I it's probably not gonna have any upgrades because it's gonna be really tricky. Um, and... wait, how are you gonna make this into like a tower? Um, oh, so... is this gonna be like a ace pilot? No, 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 it's gonna do this, right? So I'll place it on this lane, right? And then yeah. it'll go between like one point or something. It's not gonna go all the way, but let's say like its oh, range okay. would be. Right, and it could traverse like this. Yeah. What I do want to try to do later, um, I I could do it now too, because I, I would I don't really want it to go in a circle. Mm -hmm. uh, what I might do is make it go in a square, so we could do this, and it would shoot like any enemy like it in, in its range, right? So it could mm -hmm. just go like this. But it would have a small range, but it could do all this, and it would have explosion range yo what's up guys so in this video we're actually playing this tower defense game that has yet to be published on roblox and it is currently being coded and made by a uh, biscuit an ex tds builder so so far as you can see um we have plasma rifler which is supposed to be a starting tower for this game i actually don't know what the name of this game is yet the game is literally titled untitled game on roblox right now so it has no title yet but we also have outlaw right outlaw is kind of like a sniper it's not as good as outlaw in tds but it's still pretty decent um i think its dps is around like 20 or so close to that at max level uh and plasma rifler has a dps of close to like 30 or so at max level now a unique thing about this game is that um i don't know why i'm running around so much but <laughs> a unique thing about this game is that there are three lanes uh, for this map in particular uh, but there's gonna be more lanes as the story mode progresses so this is kind of like a story mode um, oriented tower defense game so after this first map which is supposed to be really easy but not insanely easy uh, this is supposed to be soloable but um, if you guys haven't noticed yet the ground units are not able to target the lanes that they're not placed on for example uh, if we take a look at the first lane right those plasma riflers are not able to attack the zombies in the lane next to them in the second lane or the third lane even if they have the range to cover it so by default i feel like this is definitely a harder type of a tar defense game just because not all ground units can uh, target the zombies that are in the other lane um, but cliff towers are different so i feel like cliff towers for this game are going to be just naturally meta just because they're able to attack any zombie within their range as you can see outlaws do here and another thing is that the towers can actually die <laughs> they can literally die for the round right now the ground unit is kind of useless because it only has 12 hp at level one and at level five it has um 24 or so which is really really low uh if we get to the late game it can be killed in like two seconds so imagine a tower being able to do dps for like two seconds and then being useless for the rest of the round uh that's the reason why biscuit is currently fixing it right now uh, to make sure that the ground units are better especially for later waves but right now sniper as i'm making this video sniper or outlaw is a lot better than plasma rifler and obviously because this game is in its beta stage or like alpha stage uh whichever one comes first i think is alpha um there is no like attack animation and it's gonna lack a lot of animations but those will be added uh before the game gets published obviously and then even though this game is uh supposed to be soloable because the waves are not balanced yet <laughs> we actually end up dying at wave 18 because the enemies are way too tanky so um that's the reason why biscuit gave me access to this place so that i can actually edit uh the waves and then basically as you guys see me do i mess around with how much cash i get after each wave and i also mess around with the number of zombies that spawn and also their levels another unique thing about this game is the fact that the zombies have different levels and what they do is basically if zombies base hp is 100 level 2 zombie is gonna have 200 hp and level 3 is gonna have 300 so basically whatever the zombies base hp is you multiply it by the level and it becomes the amount of hp for the zombie at that uh, particular level which is pretty cool because um that's a good way to 
not lag the game too much because when many different types of zombies are introduced uh, to the game it just makes the game lag but if you have like only a few types but you just buff their hp by adding levels to them i feel like it's just gonna make things a lot more convenient this is actually my last try with the testing um and then i was able to actually through like a series of multiple attempts i was able to because in the beginning, I couldn't even solo, guys. I couldn't even solo because, like, the zombies were too strong. <laughs> so I had to nerf a lot of them. I have to give myself a little bit more cash each wave, but not too much. And I balanced the game up to wave 18, uh, which is probably going to change a little bit when the ground tower's HP gets buffed. Uh, because right now, as you can see, I, only, I literally only use it to delay the zombies because the zombies are going to try to attack it. Um, so I only use it as a delay tower as opposed to an offensive tower and um, wave 18 turn still turned out to be too strong so what I did after this was to nerf 18, 19 and then finally 20 because 20 is the last wave and so when I test it again with the new buffed ground tower I should be able to uh, test it a lot better. So I hope you guys liked this video and I'm, I'm super excited. I was really excited to test this out and then change and pretty much balance the waves. I hope this game gets published soon so that we can all play on Roblox and have a lot of fun. But I hope you guys liked this video and let me know what you guys think about this game so far and see you guys in the next one. Peace.